Hi, I'm Jeff Hirsch. I'm here at The Money Show in Philadelphia. I'm with Richard Howe. He's the CEO of Stock Spinoff Investing. I assume there's a dot com at the end of that, correct? That's correct. Um, so what is Stock Spinoff Investing? We heard about spinoffs, but what's the investing angle? Yeah, of course. Um, first of all, thanks for having me on. This is a, a great opportunity. Um, so my focus, as my name implies, is 100% on stock spinoffs. Okay. And a stock spinoff is when a public company breaks up into two or more public companies. And historically, stock... And the issue shares of the new spinoff to the existing shareholders, correct? Exactly, so if you own shares of the parent company, uh, one day you'll just own shares in the parent company, and the next day you'll own shares of the parent company and the spinoff. Seems like a great thing. Yeah, it's, it's a like great- It's a gift, right? It's a gift, it's like a dividend, it's like a stock dividend. Sure. And then the beautiful thing too is that historically stock spinoffs have beaten the market over the past 10, the 15, actual, and 20 years. The uh, actual junior one that was spun off, not the parent. Exactly, the parents tend to do quite well as well, mm -hmm. um, but the spinoffs are the one that tend to do the best. And why is that? I mean, what causes the um, this this outperformance? I mean, yeah. What's well, it, it starts with um, it starts with a low initial uh, valuation, and that's because spinoffs are usually orphaned assets. So if you uh, are an investor and you own a conglomerate, um, you know, one day you could get a spinoff of a of a small little division. Right. And as opposed to really knowing anything about that company, you're just more often than not just going to sell that, what, that spin off. What about the indexes? Aren't some of these in the S&P or something like that? Same thing. The uh, So a lot of times the, the parent companies are in the S&P 500, but the, the spin offs are not. And so the index funds, the ETFs that track the index funds have to sell these spin offs. So they sure. start out with depressed valuations. And then the next step is that oftentimes once a spin off is free and independent, um, the management team in the company is incentivized to really increase performance because they own they own the stock. And, and what kind of performance are we talking about? So over the past 10 years, uh, spinoffs, the Bloomberg tracks, the, the spinoffs in the U.S., mm -hmm. spinoffs have averaged a 15.1% annual return. 10 years annualized. Yes, um, that's it's been a good 10 years for the market. Sure. So the market's up 13% per year since for the last 10 years. So a couple of percentage points above the market. Yes, exactly Excellent. right. All right, well, thanks very much for joining us. Of course. Thank you, everyone.